Red Sioux. How are you today, kids? I'm on a hike up a mountain on the coast of Maine and beautiful lake behind me uh, makes for gorgeous scenery. But while I was hiking the trail, I've been looking at a lot of wildflowers and I just saw the pink lady slipper orchid. It's a beauty. I'd like to show it to you now. So let's peek below the bracken fern to the pink lady slipper orchid. There she is. Is that not beautiful? Very much orchid leaves with parallel veins, a little bit fleshy, succulent. And the lady slipper is named because from the side, the slipper has an opening at the top and it looks like a slipper. And the pollinator crawls down inside the pouch and it's attracted by these lighter color windows. So when it's down inside there, those windows look like escape routes. But the only way out is through the top. And when it comes up, it picks up the package of pollen on its way out. And orchids send all their pollen in one package so it has one chance to be pollinated. And only one. And that's why orchids are more rare. And here's another one. Easy to see from the side. The pouch. The pink lady slipper likes to grow in acidic soils and there are others that like to grow in basic soils that are yellow. But isn't this a beautiful orchid? It's a real treat to find. Hi, I'm out in a different woods today with my granddaughter Maisie and she spotted this flower. Maisie, what is this flower called? That's right, here we have a white lady slipper. Thank you, Maisie. Here we have slightly younger flowers of the white version of the pink lady slipper, which is less common than the pink one, but the same species. Orchids rely on a symbiotic fungus living in the soil for their nutrition and even for their seeds to germinate. Orchids are very special. Hope you like them.